Welcome to lecture 26, do while loops. This is the last type of loop that I'll be covering in this section. So far we've looked at the while loop, the for loop, and now the do while loop. As you can tell by the name, the while loop is very similar to the do while loop because the do while loop contains the word while, so that should hint to you that they have some similarities. And the truth is, they are extremely similar. They are basically the same exact thing except one thing. The do while loop can always guarantee at least, at least one execution of its body. Whereas the while loop can't make that guarantee because the while loop could be false right away. And I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by that. For example, int x equals 5. While x is greater than 6, print hello, let's say, for example. So how many times do you think this will actually run? And if I run it to C, we can see that it actually does not run at all. The reason why it doesn't run at all is because the while loop's condition is false always. It never is true. 5 is never greater than 6, so it never even enters the loop at all. So that's that's the, really the main difference between a do while and a while. A do while loop can actually guarantee that no matter what, it will always run its body at least once, whereas this cannot. And the way it actually guarantees that is because it puts its condition at the end. So notice that, watch. So in the beginning, it does the check before it enters the body, but by simply taking it and putting it at the end of the actual loop, we can guarantee because it doesn't do the check until after it runs that code. So it does it and then it does the check. Then I type in a do there. So this is the conversion. So I put do in the front in a while and then you need a semicolon that's the syntax so this is the syntax of a do while loop it simply takes the while loop from the top rips it out puts it to the bottom you add the do keyword at the top so that actually knows that this is some kind of loop and then it requires a semicolon now let's let's get yes so notice how this statement this condition it should not really run at all but because it's a do while it can guarantee at least one execution of its body so if I run this now, we can see that it prints hello at least once. So do while loop, the only difference between the do while loop and the while loop is that it guarantees one execution of its body. That's what you need to remember. Okay, so now you may be thinking, why is that important? Why is it important that the do while loop can guarantee at least one execution of its body? And I'm going to show you why it's important. But for the most part, it's important because it can actually remove code duplicity. Meaning that if you have code that you're repeating, that you don't necessarily need to repeat, that's what the do while loop can fix. Um, so we'll actually look at the difference of creating this one application using a while loop, and then creating it with a do while loop, and then we'll just look at the code and examine it, and we'll see that actually the while loop has more code than the do while loop, um, and let me be more specific, it will have more code that is duplicated than the do while loop. So let's start off by making a program. This program is going to be really simple. It's just going to print the word hello. And every single time that you type again, it will print the word hello again. So as you type again, 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 it will print hello, hello, hello forever as long as you type again. The moment you stop typing again and type anything else besides again, it will stop saying hello. So to make that program, we're going to simply start off by saying console.writeLine, hello. Then I'm going to get the response. I'm going to say string response equals console.readLine. So whatever they type in is now stored into response. So now I'm going to say while the response equals again. So while they type in again, I basically want to print hello again. And then I need to get their new response. So then I'll say response equals console.readLine. So I get the new response, and then it breaks out of the loop. It goes back to the top. Okay, is their new response equal to again? If it is, then I print hello again. If not, then the program ends, and that's it. So let's go ahead and run, write this program, and I mean run this program and see what happens. So it starts off by saying hello. I'm going to say again. Hello. Again. Hello. Again. This will do it forever as long as I keep on typing again. 
the moment I type anything besides again, like J, it stops the program. So this is an example of an indefinite loop because I don't know when it will terminate. But when I'm when I'm programming it, it terminates based off of what the user does. It is indefinite. So now I want to recreate this. However, I'm going to be using a do while loop, and then we're just going to look at the differences. So now, let's comment this out first, actually. So, the first difference to remember is that the do while loop executes first. I mean, I mean, it executes at least one time, no matter what. So the syntax, remember, is do, and then while something in a semicolon. And so we'll just fill this in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to keep track of um, the response. So for that, we're going to create a string called response up here. But we're going we're to leave it empty for now because it's going to be filled in inside of the loop. The reason why I have to put the string response declaration outside of the loop is because this needs to use it inside of the actual while loop condition. So I need to put it outside. And basically, I'm going to say while response equals again like I did before so that goes inside of the while right there now inside of the do loop this is where we're actually gonna um, print the hello and, and get the response so I'm gonna say console write line hello and then response equals console dot read line and that is it the program is done let's go ahead and run it hello Again, hello, again, hello, again, J, I mean J, it stopped. So now they both work, let's compare. Now remember how I said the do while loop can remove code duplicity. And this is just erroring because both of them are declared um, to those two string responses. However, let's look at the code. So in the while loop example, let me do this is... This is the while loop, and then this is the do while loop. Okay, so in the while loop example, we start off by saying hello, and then we get the response. We then use a while loop to check the response inside the body. We say hello and get the response again. Notice how there's we repeat the code twice. We have that and then that. You can see hello twice and read line twice. So we're repeating code. That's unnecessary. We should not be repeating code. Anytime you can remove code duplicity as a programmer, you should try to. The reason is, is because if you make a change, you then have to make the change twice because there's two spots with the code. So the reason why we have to use code duplicity and repeat code in the while loop is because the condition is first, comes first. So in order to ever enter the actual body of the loop, we need to actually have the value of the response because the, the value of the while loop uses the response. So we need to actually ask them before we get into the while loop. If we didn't have this, if we just, let's say we did this, like I did with the other, with the do while loop, this won't work because the response has no value. So it won't enter the actual loop anymore. Because right now, response is not equal to again, so it's going to skip right over that loop. It's never going to enter it. That's why with a while loop, we need to first get the response, and then we can do the while loop. So that's why we have to repeat it twice, because then once we're inside of the while loop, we then, now we need to ask them again to keep the while loop running. However, with the do while loop, we don't have to do that. We can only declare, let's just comment, that, let's comment this out again. With the do while loop, we don't have to worry about that because we declare the response once, but we don't actually use it yet. We don't use it till the end, so we don't have to worry about that yet. We enter the body of the loop because it always guarantees at least one execution. So we enter the body of the loop, we print hello. Then we get the response. Now we say, if it is equal to again, repeat its code. Go back up to the top and run the body again. So the reason why we don't have to actually repeat the code is because I can guarantee to enter in the body at least once. If I could guarantee to enter the body at least once here, then I wouldn't need to actually um, repeat the code. The only reason why you have to repeat the code is because you need to get inside of that loop somehow. But with this, the loop is at the end, so I don't have to worry about it. I can just only say it once and everything will work fine. 
Now, this is a little hard to understand, so if you do understand it, that is great. But nonetheless, if you could only understand that the do while loop always executes once, that's a, that's what I want you to remember. The while loop can run zero times hypothetically, whereas the do while loop will always run once. And by guaranteeing that it always runs once, you can do different things to make your code more efficient like this. However, if this does not make sense to you, do not worry that much.